So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm joined by the lovely Catherine Weber here, Hi. who I've wanted to film with for ages. Because I think that we've like done some filming where you've been in the room. Yes. And yeah, now I have to film together. I was creepily in the room when you were doing the um, game with Crystal Sutherland and Lucy Sutherland. Oh yeah, I was there the trying to be quiet when, and it was, I very much enjoyed it. Exactly, <laughs> so that was good fun. But yeah, we're here to talk about Katie's new book and debut book, no less, yeah. Wing Jones. So this is your like debut book. Yep. What has the debut author experience been like? Because it's kind of a big success story in a way. Like it's been a bit of a whirlwind. So yeah. how would you kind of describe your debut author experience? Um, it's been wonderful, I feel so lucky. Uh, Walker books have been so good to me and supportive and I've had so much great support from bloggers and uh, vloggers um, and that's been really wonderful. Uh, I think the kind of, the, the, so my debut experience has been wonderful but before this, um, so Wing was actually the third thing I ever sent out to agents. Yep. So um, I know a lot of times it can see for, you know, aspire, it can seem for aspiring writers to see if, like this author just kind of, all of a sudden everything's going perfectly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. All the boxes. Um, and, uh, but you know, there's a lot of things that kind of go on before that and behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, it's only been, so the book came out on January 5th, so it's mm. only been not even a month no, yet. It's been really, really, yeah, it's been really exciting. Um, I just think, you know, I've been really trying to enjoy every single moment. Yeah. At first I was like, I just want to have an agent. And I was like, okay, now I just want to have a book. And then I was like, mm. I want to have a fun launch party and do some YouTube stuff. Yeah. And you're just enjoying every day of it and kind of as it comes. Mm. So because I think it can be easy to, um, you know, you don't want to have too high of expectations. It's such a crazy industry, yeah. but also like, so you just want to really enjoy it. So I feel very lucky. So thank you to everyone who's read it and said nice things. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and Wing Jones, like, correct me if I'm wrong. Was it, it was a NaNoWriMo book, wasn't it? It was, yeah. So like, how was that experience? Did you write all of it in NaNoWriMo or yeah. did you? Um, so I, have you done NaNoWriMo before? Yes. Love. I did it this year. Yeah. It, it was good. I won, but Yay. I haven't finished the book yet, so that's okay. Fifty thousand words. Yeah. Um, so Wing was actually the second time I'd attempted NaNoWriMo. Um, the first time I did it in 2013, and I did win. Um, and then I actually did query that project to no interest from agents. <laughs> um, and while I was um, querying um, a second project, I actually uh, did Wing during NaNoWriMo 2014. Yeah. Um, and did the 50,000 words, so one at Nano, and actually I'd say a majority of those 50,000 words are still in the oh, book. That's amazing. Um, yeah. So I built it out quite a lot, but because it was writing about a runner, there was something about, you know, kind of wanting to write quickly, which yeah. actually fed, fed yeah, really yeah, nicely yeah. into it. Um, and when I got stuck, I wrote about food or about kissing. Um, so All of which feature in Wings. Yeah, all of which feature in those. Um, and then I put it away for a month, and I went back to it and really worked on it in Jan and Feb. Um, in March, and then I started sending it out. Uh, I think in that April. Oh um, wow! So yeah, that's quite a quick kind of turn. It over. was actually, and I think part of the reason I went so quickly with it was because I'd already finished kind of two things, um, and that you know, obviously I worked with my editors to make it a much stronger book. Mm -hmm. I hope. Um, but it was so interesting after previously querying something which I didn't really get that much interest in, and then Wing got a lot of interest almost immediately from yeah. agents, which was exciting. It felt it felt different too when I wrote Wing. I was like, oh, this feels mm -hmm. different. This feels right. So. Yeah, that's interesting because I think. I've, I've done NaNoWriMo for about three years and sometimes it's a project that does feel right yeah. and then other ones it's like trying to draw blood out of a very tiny stone. Yeah. <laughs> and I do, I love NaNo and I love, I even think it in acknowledgement so I think it's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Um, it might not be the right <laughs> writing process for everyone, everyone. Um, but it's a nice challenge to put yourself and it also I think even if you don't end up using the words, mm -hmm. it's still um, good for teaching kind of discipline for being yeah. like, I'm going to write every day yeah. and I'm going to get, you know, because 50,000 words is a lot of words. Oh my god, yeah. I did um, weekly writing vlogs in NaNoWriMo oh. and you just see my general appearance and hair washing just <laughs> decline as the weeks go on, yeah. so well, it's intense. It's nice too to be able to have a sit, you know, give yourself the excuse to really focus on writing because I think before you have an agent or a deal it can be hard to, you know, tell your friends I'm not going out tonight yeah. because I'm writing and they're like, what? That's weird. Like, exactly. cute hobby. And you're like, no, this is serious. Yeah. Um, and it's nice for Nano to just have a month to be like, no, I'm not going to socialize. I'm going to mm. really you know, make this a priority. So what was the inspiration behind the story of Wing Jones? Um, mm. Because it's a contemporary story that avoids any cliches. And I think it's Thank so you. original <laughs> and brilliant. So Thank inspiration you. for that. <laughs> I have no chill. Anytime anyone's like, say something nice about it, I'm like, oh my yeah. god, wow. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so thank you for that. Um, so I, like, I knew I wanted to do it for a nano, and I had the idea of wanting to write about a girl runner for a while, actually. Um, I ran in track, uh, high school in track and cross country. I was not as fast as Wing, yeah. but I was not um, you know, the, the slowest either, mm -hmm. and so there was definitely some wish fulfillment. 
So the first step was figuring out, all right, I have this girl runner. Um, and Wing came very fully developed in my head. I knew that she was mixed race. I knew yeah. that she was living in Atlanta. Um, and I was like, why is she running? And her older brother kind of came from that. Her other brother, Mar older brother, Marcus, and then her grandparents. So the first scene that I actually wrote in NaNoWriMo is what is currently, I mean, it's been slightly edited, but currently what is chapter two? Oh, really? Line opens, the cheers are deafening. Oh, um, wow. That chapter uh, was the very first thing I wrote mm. in NaNoWriMo. Um, and actually when I submitted it uh, to agents and publishers, that was the opening line still. Um, but then we, uh, put in a new chapter yeah, one. Yeah. Around. So um, that mm -hmm. kind of came from that next and I just wanted to write about a, a girl who I'm like, I know who's running, figure out what made that special and then also I wanted to write someone who fell in love but didn't let it kind of take over who they yeah, were. Yeah, that's what I really liked about it and also what another thing that I loved about it was the fact that it centers around women doing sport, yeah. which I think there's not enough books about that. People keep asking me, oh, are you like super sporty? I'm like, no, not really. Yeah. Um, but I think there is something really empowering about that. I think especially right now, you know, with the Olympics, you know, you have all these incredible female athletes yeah. who are really inspiring um, and really kind of admirable. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so it was an exciting thing to write about and I definitely like enjoyed, you know, via wing writing about it running. It made mm. me feel stronger, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> family is a huge, thread of the book. So is that something you wanted to incorporate more so than like romantic love? Yeah, I mean, I think when you're in high school, your family, you know, you have your big all-consuming crushes and first loves and those mm. things are really important. But also your family is hugely important. That's, yeah. you know, especially because Wing is 15 turning 16, um, so she's a slightly younger person, a YA uh, mm. heroine, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, for me, still my family is hugely important to me and especially that relation, I'm actually interested in sibling relationships. And there's a big kind of tragic event that happens in Wing Jones. I won't spoil anything if you haven't read it yet, but there is kind of a big kind of mm. tragic element to it, which doesn't necessarily get resolved fully. Yeah. What was kind of the, yeah, the backstory to that? Um, so I wanted to, it's kind of twofold. Um, so again, I. I wanted to write about Wing really idolizes her older brother Marcus and he's kind of the golden boy not only of her family but of his school and really you know where they live in Atlanta um, and she kind of is quite happy to be in his shadow um, and I wanted to explore that when someone you admire so much when they do something really unforgivable how you mm. deal with that you know because she still loves her brother so much but then she feels you know angry at him and then she feels guilty for still loving him and kind of I think that's something that teenagers go through, whether with their siblings or with their parents, when you start, when you realize that they're not a perfect person. What three books would you recommend to someone who you've never met before? Ooh. Somebody you've just met on the street. What three books would you recommend to them? Wow. Um, I think I'm, for this, just three books that are coming, just any three books. Any three books. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna stick to YA, just, you know, to yeah, have some to parameters. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would definitely recommend The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, um, which is a, another book coming out by Walker this year, um, and it's centered around uh, Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Um, but I think even more than that, you know, being such a topical and sadly quite timely um, theme, it's just a brilliant, hilarious book mm -hmm. that really encompasses family and friendship and kind of doing what's right. Um, I was saying to Angie, I was like, I want um, the main character star to like take wing under her like oh arm and gosh, like that would be friends. Yeah. Um, like writing my own fan fiction. Yeah. Um, it's it's definitely, done. yeah definitely the hate you give. Um, I also love, love, it's more slightly younger, but um, A Wrinkle in Time is probably mm. my all-time favorite uh, children's book. So I have to say that. Um, and that book was actually, the first, it came out in the 50s and it was the first science fiction book for children with a female heroine. Oh, wow. Yeah. Third one would have to be I Love Daughter Smoke and Bone by Lenny Taylor. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, definitely. I, I, I yeah. kind of hoped you would say yeah. that. I was like, if I know Katie, there's going to be some Lenny Taylor. Yeah, of course. I can usually work in some kind of Lenny Taylor yeah. quote or anecdote <laughs> at any given time. But no, that book is just for me. It's so beautifully written and I love the story and I love the characters and it's one of those books I can reread over and over mm. again. It's have you read the new book? Yes, I did. It's amazing. Amazing. Like, I've, I've not read it yet, but I've got the proof and it's sitting there. So it's I need to like pick it up. Incredible. I would even go so far as to say I think it's a better book than Daughter's Book oh, wow. of Yeah, it's really just just phenomenal. She's got Lainey's scope of imagination. It's just yeah. mind blowing. So I think that's everything we have time for today. But I implore you guys, go and pick up Wing Jones yes. because it is very unique, it's brilliant, and I don't think you'll regret picking this up. It's brilliant. If you've managed to avoid like seeing it around, then I am quite shocked. <laughs> um, so thank yes. you so much for coming with me this today. So it's been so much fun. Oh, and thank um, you. yeah, good luck for the rest of you know your debut. Thank you so much. Debut year. I'm showing off the pretty Oh my god, edges. the end pages. Absolutely. I'm very lucky. And guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.